What's up guys? We're back on the mountain bikes today. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to ride a wheelie out on the mountain bike. Uh, it has a lot of uses, whether that's just making your riding a little bit more steezy, or going faster on the trail, or just messing around in the parking lot. Uh, they're a lot of fun and pretty easy to learn. You just have to dedicate a little bit of time and know that it doesn't happen overnight. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first let's just talk about your pedal position. Uh, if you're right foot dominant, you should have your right pedal on the power stroke. Uh, which all that means is that the pedal is at the peak and then a little bit down so you can just stomp on that and put all your body weight into it. Uh, that's where you get the most power out of the stroke and that'll help you pop up the wheelie a little bit better. Another thing to consider is your gearing. Um, this really depends on how fast you're going. If you're going slower, you're going to want to be in an easier gear, so the bigger ring. And if you're going a little bit faster, go into a harder gear. Um, you really just have to experiment with that, uh, what comes up the easiest. And yeah, also uh, your front suspension is vital. Uh, you're gonna wanna press into the suspension. Uh, I'll show you some examples of that. So pretty much you're just gonna press into the front suspension and pull back with your body weight and your arms. And you wanna have your arms pretty much locked out whenever you go to um, stomp on the pedal and pull the wheelie up. But like I said, we're gonna put up an example right now. So yeah, you'll see. So as you can see, my arms push out into a locked position, and at the same time, I stomp down with my right foot, which is my dominant foot, and it pulls the wheel up. And while you're practicing this, go ahead and practice bailing off the back of the bike. Uh, Go-to is always the brakes, but if you can't get to the brakes quick enough, it's always good to be prepared to bail off. Another important part of the wheelie is your cadence. So as you can see here, I hold a pretty smooth and steady cadence, and my pedals aren't spinning too fast. Uh, this just helps you hold the wheel up longer and look smoother overall. Another thing I forgot to mention is your seat height. Um, I like to have mine uh, almost at the full height, but a little bit below so you can get your body weight a little bit more back and it's easier to bail off the back of the bike. So yeah, that's kind of preference though. I'm winded. Give me a second. A big mistake I see a lot of people do is trying to stand up in a wheelie. Uh, when they're first learning that's just not the way to go because what that does is it raises your uh, center of gravity and balance point like a lot because you're standing so far off the top of the bike and it's just really hard to control so just sit down in your wheelies maybe a little bit harder to pop it up but in the long run you'll have a way easier time balancing it and riding it out so yeah doing wheelies in the parking lot's cool and all but uh, the real reason why you want to learn them is because it's useful in the trail. So we're going to go out in the trail and teach you how to do them. So the first thing we have is this ledge. Um, as many of you know, a wheelie is really helpful to either go down or up a ledge. Uh, this ledge is too steep to just roll up it. So you're really going to need to pop your front wheel over it. We went over this in another video, but might as well just mention it because it's so useful in this. So the second one we have today is not really as practical as the first one. Second use of the wheelie is to link two sections of trails. Uh, whether that's a turn to a turn or just like a down slope with some rocks, uh, I find it just to make it a little bit more smooth and looks a little bit easier. So yeah, I'd recommend trying it once you get the balance point locked in. And yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. Okay, that wraps up today's video. Um, if you really want to learn wheelies, uh, it all comes down to just practice and getting the feel of your brakes and all that. So keep on practicing, it will happen. Maybe not overnight, but uh, yeah. I hope this video helped you. And if not, I hope you at least enjoyed it. So until next time, see you later.